Hey everyone, I'm Tom, executive producer at Project L. And I'm Tony, Project L's technical lead. Last time we talked, I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting game here at Riot. We showed you a brief glimpse of gameplay and said we'd be going dark for a while, but we'd share more when we're ready. Well, a lot's changed since then. We've made some great progress, and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit since you heard from us, so I want to bring you up to speed on what we've been working on. From the beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a 2D fighter set in the universe of Runeterra. But the 2D fighting space is pretty broad. Even from that starting point, there were a ton of different directions we could take the game. After lots of exploration, we're excited to say that we've landed on a direction that we're pretty pumped about. In this quick update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core gameplay, character design, and netcode. But first, allow me to reintroduce Project L. Project L will be an assist-based fighter. You'll build and pilot a team of two different champs. We feel like this is the right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building and on-the-fly decision-making on top of strong fighting fundamentals. Our goal is to build a game that delivers a fast-paced, dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in gameplay. Like a lot of you out there, we're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and 200 IQ plays behind some of the most iconic moments in fighting game history. The dream for us is to deliver a game that allows you to create new iconic moments for many years to come. Now let's talk about controls. I know that a lot of you have strong opinions about mechanical difficulty in fighting games. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master mentality. So yes, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. That said, we absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character and providing opportunities for you to showcase your high-end mastery. One of the delights of fighting games is seeing top players move and fight in a way that's inspiring and distinct from lesser skilled players. We want to set that aspirational summit and build a steadily increasing difficulty curve to get you there. This isn't about building a game where new players have a chance to beat the pros. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Character design, of course, plays a huge role in this. For characters, our goal is to deliver on the iconic moves that League champions are known for, but adapted to work in a fighting game. We want our champs to have powerful, flexible kits that give you the freedom to play your character your way. As an example, I'm thrilled to introduce you to Echo, re-envisioned for Project L. Echo is a punk genius. He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, can rewind his own mistakes and stay one step ahead of his opponent. The centerpiece of Echo's kit is his Chrono Strike. It's a forward-moving slash that's a pretty good poke and a combo ender. When Echo slashes with Chrono Strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next few seconds of the match. You can use the rewind to double down on your first slash, or make a different choice, and branch into a high committal launcher. Echo works just fine as a mid-range zoner, but he really comes online when you take full advantage of the rewind ability. He can vary the timing of the rewind to mix up his opponent, recover for assist attacks made by his teammates. And in the right hands, rewind can also be a strong combo extender. And then there's Timewinder, Echo's time grenade. Timewinder works great for basic zoning and combos. The real payoff comes when you're able to throw Time Winder from range, giving it a chance to charge up and explode into a time distortion field that slows Echo's opponents for the next few seconds of the match. For both of these moves, our approach is to give you a tool with a clear primary role but with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it in the right situation. Now, while gameplay is obviously super important, high quality netcode is essential for any great fighting game. So this is an area where we're investing big. I'm going to turn it over to Tony, and he'll walk you through some of our networking foundations. Netcode has been a top of mind topic in the FGC for the past year, especially since we haven't been able to gather for live events. For Project L, we've designed our entire networking stack to deliver the same highly responsive gameplay that you'd get playing offline. Of course, this starts by using rollback networking at the core. Rollback does a great job of maintaining a consistent low input delay across a wide range of pings. 
We've also developed a new networking model that enhances the benefits of rollback with core technology developed by other games at Riot. We'll route network traffic between players through Riot Direct, our internal network already being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. We're also actively managing a player's connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. And if someone rage quits in the middle of a match, our netcode will determine who should win and who should be penalized. We're taking netplay very seriously for Project L. It's the primary way that we playtest the game internally, and we're working every day to make sure it's in top shape for the eventual release. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at Project L. Before we go, I want to remind you that our game is still in R&D. We're happy with how core combat is shaping up, but there's still a ton of work to do. Thanks so much for your patience while we take our time to make sure that we get this right. So that's all for now. Last time we spoke, Project L went dark afterwards, but this time we'll do our best to keep in touch when we have major news to share. Thanks a lot. Thank you.